What's another name for pirate treasure? Booty. We're here at Mystic Connecticut's Pirate Invasion, about to find some grog and some gruel. After a few years of construction in downtown Mystic, they needed a way to bring people back, so they started the Pirate Invasion. First year, they had 3,000 plus people show up, and this year, it's even bigger. It's become a great community event. We're at the Harp and Hound for some pirate themed beverages. Hi there, welcome to the Harp and Hound. In honor of the pirate invasion, a lot of the local restaurants are having specialty items added to their menus. Here at the Harp and Hound, they're doing specialty cocktails. So today we're going to try a few of them. I'm thinking the pirate cider, which is cinnamon apple infused pirate rum topped with cider, the Henry, Captain Morgan spice rum, amaretto, and cola, and Mr. McCoy. McCoy spiced rum, tonic water, and lime. So let's try the pirate cider. Oh, that's a really nice blend of the rum and the apple. Neither one overpowers each other. This one's currently a nice, but I think it'd be great hot. Pirate apple cider, thumbs up. And now for the Henry. Rum and Coke, made even better by Amaretto. It definitely shines through. It's a really good drink. Hopefully when I return to the Harp and Hound, we'll have this drink on the menu because I'm really enjoying it. Give it a thumbs up. And now for Mr. McCoy. A little harder to love. You have the lime and the tonic water and a little bit of spiciness in there. But overall, it's kind of like a spice soda. Not my favorite. Compared to the Pirate Cider, I'd probably give this one a slightly lower rating. But I think most people still enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Let's taste this. I'm going to kidnap this one.